The Detroit Titans men's basketball team opens up their 2015-2016 season in just a few days as they welcome in Central State to Callahan Hall on November 16th. The Titans face a grueling non-conference schedule this season, traveling to Pittsburgh and number 18th ranked Vanderbilt. Head coach Ray McCallum believes that that tough non-conference schedule can give the Titans exactly the experience they need heading into a tough Horizon League slate. I tell you, you know, those are high major uh, programs when you talk about, you know, Pitt in the ACC and uh, Vanderbilt, one of the uh, up and coming teams in the Southeastern Conference, high major competition, and uh, they have aspirations of being in the NCAA tournament and they have the talent to do so. But I think with our non-conference schedule, we're playing six teams that have won 20 games or more. We're playing another two teams that have won 19. And with that, you have teams that are used to winning. They have experience returning that have won a lot of basketball games. And that's going to present a, a challenge for us. Well, I mean, I mean, every night, I, I mean, I don't know if we'll be the favorite in any of those uh, with uh, the young guys that we have and what we have returning. Uh, and I think it speaks volumes uh, of those programs and the talent that they do have. So uh, we're, we're inexperienced in a lot of areas, but uh, we're going to have to play every night. And I think it's a schedule that is going to prepare us for the Horizon League season. And, uh, but we want to be in position to win some of those games because I think that, you know, that, that's going to help us. Uh, you, you can learn. I, I like to learn by winning. I don't necessarily want to learn by, by defeat. You know, we, we talked about what a great non-conference schedule that we have, and it's going to prepare us for the Rising League season. Uh, the Rising League season is just going to be uh, a flat-out war. Everyone has talented players returning. Uh, I, I don't think you can believe anything that the uh, media is saying about, about the rankings. Um, it's going to be a, a, a tough game every night, home and away. Um, I, I think it's a deep league. Uh, a balanced conference uh, from the top. You know, you talk about Valpo. Obviously, they'll be the, the favorites after winning the regular season and winning the tournament and having everyone returning. Uh, so uh, they're, they're, they're going to be strong. But I, I think there's a lot of teams that, that uh, can, can be there in the end. And uh, we feel like uh, as, as we go through this non-conference schedule, uh, the wars of the uh, Horizon League, uh, conference season, regular season, where we're battling for seeding. I mean, as you know, uh, the one and two seed get a bye to the semifinals, which, uh, you know, puts you, uh, you know, 80 minutes from, uh, you know, playing for the big dance. Uh, that's that's always our, our goal. Uh, but the, the seeding is going to be very important. Everyone's going to participate in the uh, Horizon League tournament at, at Joe Lewis. And uh, if you're not in one of those top two seeds, uh, you've got to win three games in three days to get to the championship. So uh, a lot is on the line, uh, which, uh, which is important. The Titans are led by sophomore Paris Bass, who is the reigning Horizon League Freshman of the Year and was a preseason All-Horizon League pick. Head coach Ray McCallum believes that Bass can improve even more this season. Well, I think he'll be better. I, I think just going through it his first year, having gone around the league, having traveled around the country, played against great competition uh, last year as a freshman, um, you know, gave him a lot of experience. He uh, played a lot of minutes for us. Uh, he finished the season, uh, you know, very well. And uh, he carried that off in to, the, to the off season where he was able to, uh, you know, work on uh, his strength his body has changed. He's much stronger. He's played against good competition. He was a part of the Nike Skills Academy where he played against some of the best collegiate players in the nation. And uh, those experiences just really help you. So he should come in uh, physically much more stronger, and uh, that should um, bring him uh, a lot more confidence. Detroit junior Chris Jenkins, who is a transfer from Colorado, was eligible to play the second half of last season. Head coach Ray McCallum is very excited to have him playing a full season this year for the Titans. Well, I think the same thing uh, because Chris hadn't played Division One, so he played a half a year of Division One and the entire Horizon League season. So that experience is going to help him. And he watched before 
but actually being out there playing and playing a key role in major minutes. Uh, we're counting on him to, uh, to be, a, a, be one of our top scorers and one of our top rebounders. Uh, and he plays both ends. He's a, a, a two-way player and uh, be a leader as an upperclassman. Coach McCallum is also excited about the depth that this year's team has, led by a couple of senior leaders. Well, I, I like to start with the uh, upperclassmen because they're freshmen. They, they just don't know. When you talk about upperclassmen, uh, you've got, you know, Anton Wilson, who's been with us for four years. He's had a tremendous offseason. I mean, as soon as the season was over last year, uh, he was in the gym that following, that following Monday, and he's been working ever since. So I look for him to have a great uh, senior year. He's in line to be uh, one of our team captains, uh, a role that he's embraced as a leader. Uh, which is which is exciting. He's been a part of uh, the program for four years. He was t uh, as a freshman. He won 20 games, participating in IT. So he's he's been around. So uh, that experience is going to really help. Um, I think he's one of the top three point shooters in the country, uh, as well. Um, and then Carlton Brundage is a senior. He's been around the program four years now. Uh, so he's been through some wars. Um, you know, as a senior. We're counting on his leadership and experience to really help lead this basketball team. And then from there, you've got a, a junior class. Uh, we talked about Chris, but uh, two young men are starting their third year with us, uh, and Gerard Williams, uh, who started uh, you know, multiple games for us, uh, was a member of the Rising League All-Freshman team, uh, has a lot of experience, uh, can, can play both uh, uh, point guard two and three, and um, could be a, a, a vicious, uh, aggressive defensive player for us that can impact us that way. And uh, Matthew Grant, uh, starting as a, as a junior, uh, his third year with the program, uh, again, has experience, has been through the Rising League, and um, uh, he's done a great job of uh, point of attack defensively and, and knows what needs to be done from a point guard standpoint. So let's let's kind of talk about you know Jaleel Hogan as a sophomore, who played some major minutes for us uh, down the stretch of the season, and I thought that he was playing as well as any big man uh, in down the stretch of the Rising League in an entire conference, not just freshman, but as as any big uh, with his scoring and his, his physical presence. So we're counting on him to really impact us in the middle. Uh, he's undersized defensively, but he's a wide body. Uh, we need him to rebound the ball and, and be a go-to guy for us on the inside. In addition to the experience and the leadership that this Titan team has, they also have a number of freshmen that are looking to make an instant impact on the court. And, um, and I think, you know, from there you have the, uh, uh, the freshmen uh, that, you know, we're really excited about this freshman class. Uh, Aaron Foster-Smith was a red shirt last year. Uh, he's done a great job in, in physically changing his body. Uh, he's a guy that can provide uh, a big body for us in terms of defending and rebounding around the basket, uh, but also as a young man that can go out outside and, and, and be a three-point shooter for us. So uh, we're excited about, about Aaron uh, as a freshman getting his first uh, time out there. Um, and then the, the uh, other, other freshman, uh, everyone's kind of heard about and followed the career of uh, Gerald Blackshear, who, uh, who's a 6'8 post player for us. That's very athletic, has the potential to block shots for us and rebound the basketball and, and be a good runner as a, as a big man. So uh, we need his, uh, his abilities to impact us right away in the middle because there's opportunity for, for him there. Uh, and then uh, Josh McFoley. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a guard uh, that can play uh, multiple positions, has speed and quickness, has, has very good range, and um, just a, a talented all-around guard that uh, I think is going to really impact us uh, this year on the perimeter. So we're excited about, about him. And then a young man that we picked up late, Jalen Gibson, a 6'8", 215-pound forward uh, that's uh, rugged and aggressive and a rebounder, defender. Um, and uh, we'll need that, that type of play for him as a freshman, and those, those two, two traits will get him on the floor and enable him to help this basketball team. Detroit is picked to finish fourth in the Horizon League.
but this team believes they have what it takes to bring the Horizon League trophy back to Callahan Hall.